you guys remember how we talked about Godot the other day and essentially everyone was screaming woke well they literally called the engine wokot or woko i don't know how you would pronounce that but they literally turned the engine into a woke object i would say and uh, more woke stuff and so i think there's a big discussion to be had now which i find very interesting as the pendulum swings back from being oppressed by the let's say woke community if you want to call that uh, to the gamers pushing back against this and even getting angry when they just hear and we saw a really good clip from mr forsen himself about this they see a woman as the main character and they already get pissed off because they think that this is going to be a woke Am game so it doesn't have touch? any substantial narrational no. Genus Nymphicus just value subscribed. big tick support for 13 years my man I spent the past year. Blah 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 blah. I don't want to be like pigs. For these intros, I need to disable the the notifications, man. I was doing, guys, guys, I was doing the best intro of all time, man. What's up, everybody? This is the woke man here. I was doing the best intro of all time, bro. I was rocking it. I don't want to be like pigs. God damn it! Okay, I'm getting coffee. Fuck it, man. Wait. Oh my god! I hate const! Const is trash! What I can say about the good old situation, because I use it all the time and professionally. Good oh wow. Is that people. No! Not this now! Shh! <clears throat> What I can say about the gross situation, because I use it all the, all the time and professionally, really? Is that people from the grow camp lied about the fork called Redot. Checked it out and according to them, they were all, well, you know, World War II baddies and whatnot. That was untrue, they weren't at all, not as long as I visit the Discord at least. No hint of it. I wish the entire war crowd would put the same efforts uh, to hate on bad, optimized, expensive and incomplete games instead. They do, though. They do. That's the thing. But that being said, however, I do notice a trend to hate on almost everything that could potentially be woke. While maybe it has a very good, like I said before, while it might actually have a narrational value, right? Something to be had there that you don't know yet because you haven't played the game. You only saw, let's say, a trailer or a little bit of gameplay and then you immediately think, man, there's a woman there. This must be woke. I'm more conservative when it comes to this because ultimately I agree with the take that Forsen has, which is I just want to play a good, authentic game. If that is a female character playing in the game, I'm fine. If that's a male character playing in the game, I'm fine too. Ultimately, I enjoyed Tomb Raider a lot. We talked about this yesterday. That's a really cool game in my opinion and it features a female main character. I never had any issues with that. Now, I would have had issues if they potentially made the character ugly on purpose so that they appeal to a, I don't know what type of audience they try to appeal to. Like, uh, to be honest, uh, I think they're just out of touch, just like the, you know, but let's not talk about this too much. The Ubisoft situation, right? The Sasuke character, uh, you know, using a baseball bat to hit down a grocery store <laughs> while hip hop music is playing. You know, these people are out of touch, in my opinion. But I think the pendulum is swinging back and it might potentially hurt people too much. We have an image here, and I'm not gonna read everything because I might actually get in trouble with this if I say some of these words, but just take a look at the things that people have said about the Godot engine that, well, so these are not really good things to say, you know? You can see that uh, there's some crazy stuff in here, right? Anyways, so let's see. I think uh, this is a discussion to be had. Everything is woke now. What's up, everybody? This is the woke man here, and today, True. <clears throat> turns out there's a lot of games that are woke out there. And <laughs> Bloom City Six is woke, really, guys. I'm in trouble. I'm copying Bloom's. Wait, no, no. I'm inspired by Bloom's TD Six. Uh oh. You've got to be on the lookout. Thankfully, there is a list just for you, so you can keep track of all <laughs> the woke nonsense and all Damn. those political agendas being pushed in your games. And you can avoid it, and I'm gonna help. You know, Baldur's Gate 3 was called Woke, but 
it's still a good game. And so I think these people are just going over the top, over the line. They're stepping over the line and uh, they see every single instance of, oh, this character is not a normal character. It's got to be woke. I think that's just too much. Yeah. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. And just so you know, this list is very... Hades? Hogwarts Legacy? Palward? Not recommended? Uh, these guys are stupid. Like, uh, this is a dumb list. I don't know who put this list together, but they're idiots. Yeah. Because of body type A and B, guys, it doesn't, like, this doesn't really matter because if the nar nar How do you say that? If narration. No, it's not called narration. Elden Ring? Yeah, well, it's not a narration. If the narrative yeah if the narrative is good then it doesn't matter man if the characters feel authentic in the world in my opinion then it doesn't matter so for example let me give you a really good example of how i could potentially add in a character in a game in an rpg game that would be let's say uh, from the lgbtq camp and it would feel authentic. So I'm thinking about making a game in the future, a sort like game, where you are entering a prison. You're being captured by the king or something. It's very leaning, it's leaning heavily towards Gothic 1, where you're also, also captured and then you're thrown into a barrier. Now, I'm not going to use the barrier trick, but I think I'm going to use the, let's say, prison trick. And since I'm, you're going to be playing a male character, uh, and uh, you're going to be thrown into a prison, you're going to be thrown into a prison of men. And so... How I would make a character like that is that some of them, uh, not some of them, but there will be like maybe one or two that, you know, like men, like sexually, right? But they can't talk about this since they're in a male prison. And so there could be a quest related to that. I think that would be an authentic experience, right? Because uh, otherwise, if this guy in a male prison would talk about this, he would get in trouble, essentially. Because that's usually how it is. It's uh, very, This stuff is very big in soccer teams too, for those of you who don't know. And uh, yeah, woke. And then so people would call this woke, but I think I would call this authentic because it's a real struggle. That's essentially how I could see myself doing something like that. And I think if I were to encounter that in a game, I wouldn't be bothered by this at all because I think it would just make sense. Woke for me is being bigoted towards white people or men. Because they are that, and not because they did something wrong. That's my take. MO should not be part of, for example, a game engine. Gay characters in, in games are totally fine, for instance. Doesn't bother me at least. It's artistic freedom up to those who made it. Don't buy it if you don't like it, simply put. Yeah, that's how I see it too. Um, like game engines, and I see the same thing in code. I think in code, if you want to talk about he or him, then you should do that. Like, I, like we have seen the Unreal Engine coding standards, and I think that's just dumb. To be honest, uh, but yeah, you see, plus, it is, plus, ladies walk. and gentlemen, Stop and it. just so you know, this list is very, very comprehensive. It is no, very. Vegeta. There's a lot of woke stuff out there. A lot of wokeness. I don't know how that's woke. <laughs> there's fucking fourteen hundred games on here. Look, okay, it's no secret that companies are sometimes pushing agendas. Uh, in media, yeah. pop culture, video yeah. games, and whatnot. Bloons Tower Defense 6 is woke now, fellas. It's been compromised. I it contains overtly pro LGBTQ plus Contains conver overtly pro LGBT messaging. There's a pride flag item available in the trophy store with a pride, prior pride message. Psi, Psi is referred to using they, them pronouns. Messaging. There are. Can you believe it? There's a pride flag item available in the trophy store with pro with a pro pride message. Dude, that's just a fucking skin. <sighs> and, and that's the review. That's that's their review of the game. The reviewing game's based on woke wokeness. This amorphous blob of a of a term now. <laughs> But Alan Wake, Alan Bloons, Woke. Bloons Tower Defense 6 has been compromised. Thank you, Woke Detector, for making me aware of this. I can finally, finally cleanse my... No, don't do <sighs> it! Just get, get, get the wokeness no! out of here. Get it out of here. Well, obviously, Starfield is pretty woke, you know. Pronoun selection, they, them, body types instead of male and female. If... <laughs> 
improbably diverse NPCs in all areas. Well, hold on, what the fuck does that mean? That's so dumb. So like, uh, but I think that's a really interesting discussion to be had, right? Let's say you're making a game and you make a character creation in a game. Doesn't have to be like a big RPG 3D game, right? Can be a 2D game too. And you want to have male and female in there because you think that there's male and female characters. What would you do? Would you just leave them as male and female and just uh, leave it the, the way it is? In Germany, we have something we call male, female and diverse. So there's like a third option. So I, I, I essentially might be doing something like that. Male only. <laughs> yeah, you just give it a male only option. Yeah, true. Germany's woke. Yeah, apparently Germany will be on the list now too. Mm -hmm. True. Improbably diverse? They're in space. <laughs> You see, it, it's not just what games they, they classify as well. It's also the reasons and, and the recommendation. Oh, not recommended, Baldur's yeah. Gate 3, yeah, that's definitely woke for sure. I, I, see, this is what I mean by the pendulum swinging back too much. Now we are at a point where we are basically... We have been oppressed in our creative freedom a lot in the past. And we have gotten dog shit games because of that. And now we are oppressing back, essentially. And I hope that we just don't overdo it again, because then they will swing back too. That's bad. I won't be playing that. I did win game of the year, but it... Come on, it's woke. It's woke, fellas. <sighs> Sorry, Larian. Hades fans, oof. I just don't understand Hades. relationship Why? between minor characters. Optional homosexual romance. Damn. Didn't that also get some awards? Hate... Like, hey, look at how many games we're exposing. All of these games have been compromised. The Shovel Knight. The Shovel Knight series? Man. How? Yeah, Hogwarts like, Legacy. Well, how well, can Shovel Knight be there? Got an award. Equals can't be woke. Like, I wouldn't even go towards that. I would go towards this. I would always do this. Hades. Steam. And then I would take a look at the Steam page and use that as awards. What would, I, what, would, what would I use? This percentage right here. If this percentage to me indicates a very high percentage of people liking the game, that to me is an award. It's exactly what Vampire Survivors advertises as their reward. Vampire, uh, as their award, essentially, of being a good game. You see this? And you could take a look at the trailer. And we've seen this multiple times, right? In the first five seconds, you could see that it spins into positive reviews. That is their acolyte essentially and so to me hades won the steam award of the public essentially so that's how i'd see it and so if the majority of people on the planet like hades there's probably no underlying messaging in the game because oftentimes when you see underlying messaging in a game people are not stupid they can see this out or they can sniff this out really fast we all knew that Contains overly, <laughs> overtly pro DEI messaging. 1800 Scotland somehow has diverse LGBTQ plus characters. There's fucking wizards in the game, bro. Just, just get over it. Why, why do we, why do we cherry pick historical settings like this when it's clearly not a, a non-fictional yeah, story? Not. That's crazy. That's crazy. But Hogwarts Legacy is woke. Um, JK Rowling is... I'm a little confused now. I'm a little confused on that one. You're, you're probably thinking this is like a pride flag too, but unfortunately it is uh, merely a t-shirt of a T-Rex riding a skateboard in a reference to Pink Floyd's famous album, The Dark Side of the Moon. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It was the wokest thing I could find in my house, but no, no. If you thought I was wearing woke, a rainbow yeah. shirt, you're really the woke funny. Man. That's really funny. It's <laughs> crazy that like, that's all they need. Like they just... Just this, like yep. a pride flag in a game, even if it's an option. Though, unfortunately, I do have to say, oftentimes when there's a huge controversy on Twitter and you check the person's bio, you see that flag. It doesn't look like very good advertising oftentimes, you know? There's always something up when, you know, it's it's so sad. Like these people, there's these minority people in the minority group. There's even fewer people that, you know, create this this outrage and Godot is the last example of that there's always this dumb flag in there you know I hate it like why would these people like they shine a bad light on this otherwise nice community that's how I see it it's like this people see 
a fire truck and they always assume a fire because every time where there's a fire there's a fire truck that's what happens essentially it's this stupid analogy it's so dumb people so only cosmetic. see the bad yeah unfortunately you can't even have that like they don't even want that no rainbows allowed no rainbows no pride flag anyways so yeah we get the point so every single well, game is woke now it's like a 20 minute showing up all the games i think so like unfortunately the the video lacks one thing which is i think is important to talk about which is that we can see the pendulum swinging back towards fighting everything that maybe could be woke like female characters, fat characters, body types A and B, any form of uh, gay or homosexual characters in any game. And I think it's very dangerous if we keep going down that route. Now, I'm a huge proponent of don't infect my game with your bullshit. Don't infect my game with your political messaging. So, for example, if they put a black character like Yasuke into Assassin's Creed, I'm not going to buy the game because I could see what you're doing there. And I think you're, you're lying to me. You're essentially trying to convince me that you're a good person, that you care about these people. And in this case, they tried to put them in the game because of Black Lives Matter. And that, to me, I just don't want to support this. And I, I think it should be called out too. However, if they are... So, for example, Gothic 1 is a game I love. It's one of the best games I've ever played. And there's a character in the game that's black. And in my opinion, it's my favorite character. It's called Gorn. I don't have an issue with putting characters in the game that maybe don't fit into a certain... Like, it's in a prison. It's mostly a white male prison. But there's this one or two characters that are black. So, like, I don't really have an issue with this at all. T -t totally not, because it fits the narrative perfectly. However, I think we're getting overboard with this stuff. We're going overboard and we're starting to oppress back, which is not what we should do. 